In this short video, we're going to show you how to modify the properties of your structural geometry in the RAM modeler. Here you can see I'm looking at a layout that contains predominantly concrete systems, concrete columns, beams, and walls. Say, for example, I want to change some of the properties of some of the members after I create them. Of course, I'm going to first start by selecting my concrete material. And then from my layout toolbar, I'm going to select the element type I want to change. Here I'm going to select change my beams. And I'm going to find a tool here for properties. I'm going to highlight the properties and I'm going to decide what I want to change. For this example, I'm going to say I want to go from 4,000 PSI concrete to 3,000 PSI concrete. So I'm going to select the property I want to change, enter its new value, and then I'm going to select which members I want to change it for. I'm going to change the concrete members for all of this front area. So I'm going to click Fence, and then I'm going to draw a fence around them. Now if I want to verify that those changes were picked up, I can also use my Show icon. So here I'm going to select Show, you can select any member in the model, and here you can see all the properties, and here's what I just changed in the previous exercise. Now there may also be times when you want to change something from one material to another. So I've gone ahead and laid out concrete beams and concrete columns on the interior of my structure. But say I want to change them now to be steel members instead. The steel members are going to reside at the same exact location as the concrete members, so I don't necessarily have to delete them, I just need to change their property from concrete to steel. So I'm going to select the material I want to be working with. I'm going to change from concrete to steel, and I'm going to select the type of member I'm going to be working on. Let's work on our columns first. So I'm going to go to Layout Column, and then I'm going to find this tool here, Change My Material. This will change the material from whatever you select to the currently selected material, which is set to steel. So I'm going to go ahead and say change my material. I'm going to change it to a steel column. I'm going to enter the shape of the column and the yield strength. And then here I'm going to select fence. And everything, any column within the fence will change to a steel member. And I can do that same operation for my beams. Here I'm just going to say change my material, and I can select which members should be steel instead of concrete without having to delete them and redraw new ones. Now all of those commands, the change properties, the show command, and the change materials are available for columns and beams, and also for our walls that we created. All of the tools will look the same, you just need to invoke the correct tool in the layout toolbar to start working with that type of member. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.